Aye Zuzu, Aye Zuzu, Aye Zuzu, Aye Zuzu, In fact, I'm so excited that the people of South Town interpreter, interpreter. has put the icing on my cake. This event marks the last event of my campaign tour of the voter region this past week. And I couldn't have had a concluding event better than what I'm seeing in Dabala this morning. So this gives me assurance that NDC is still very strong in its stronghold that is the voter region. The reason I came here is that if you want to jump, you must stoop and then you can spring up. So to begin a very successful campaign, you must go to your roots, the roots of the party. And that is why I took the time to come to Voter Region. There are other people who think that you leave your stronghold there and go spend time in other areas and try to win people to join your stronghold. I have a different opinion. In the Bible, it is said that if you have 100 sheep and one gets missing, you leave the 99 there and go looking for one sheep. Come on! Come on! We are into politics. And I believe that the political logic is a term different from the biblical logic. In politics, if you leave what you leave 99 sheep on the desert and go looking for one lost sheep. By the time you come, all the 99 are gone, and you'll be happy only one sheep. And you don't even need all the 99. You need 51. So if you are lucky to have 99, you better consolidate the 99 first before you go looking for the lost one. So my belief is that don't take your stronghold for granted. Don't leave your stronghold and go satisfy other people with the hope that you win them onto your side. By the time you succeed in winning them, you turn back and your stronghold is gone. Then you are not in the business of politics. That is why I've taken this trouble to spend sufficient time in our stronghold, the voter region, and to make sure that we are on firm grounds in our stronghold before we go to battle in other areas to win those to support us. And you must be proud that you are the top root of NDC. Indeed, wherever I have gone throughout the country, even where you have MPP stronghold, if you want to be directed to where you can find NDC people, they will direct you to the riverside where the town people live. And any time you reach there, you see that you have come home to NDC community. So we want to thank you for staying true to your belief, for staying steadfast, to NDC. And last year, the president came here when, due to the recklessness of his own appointees at VRE, the dam was spilled 
and it created serious challenges to life and property, particularly the worst hit are the two areas. We were expecting the president as the father of the nation, who has the responsibility of treating all citizens equally. But what did we see? The president came here and insulted you because what he said amounted to the biggest insult. To see your faces, look at your faces in terms of crisis, in terms of your greatest need, a need which has been created by the recklessness of his own appointees to come and face you and tell you that you are lucky that he is visiting. After all, you don't vote for him. What type of president is this? Who cares Ghana to give us this type of leader? Let us pray that whatever we need to do for the sake of posterity, let us do it and remove this president. After the remover, we pray to our God that never again should we have such a useless and reckless president who has messed the whole nation up. Never again should it happen in the history of this country. Everything we have toiled to build in this fourth republic has been destroyed by just one bad man. So today, I have not come to ask you to vote for Mahama or vote for Lukuto. I have come to ask you to vote for yourselves, to cast a vote that will allow you to secure your freedom, that will allow you to be treated like a citizen in your own land, that will free you from discrimination, that will free you from insulting conduct, that will free you from being treated as second-class citizens in your own land, that will make you assess all government opportunities available equally like the citizens, any other citizen of Ghana. So we are at the war front. Don't take this election for granted. Nana Kufuado and Baumia, they know how much they have messed us up. And they know there's consequence in this coming after this bad governance. And we have assured them that gone are the days that we'll be talking about sleeping dogs lying. In the next Mahama government, the dogs will never lie. They will stand up and keep working. And every appointee of MPP government will come and face his own judgment day. You will be held responsible wherever you find yourself for the misdeeds that have accounted to our current hopeless state as a country. Our economy has been messed up. Our infrastructure has been messed up. Our water bodies have been messed up. All state institutions of governance that should help regulate power in the country have all been messed up, including traditional authorities, including faith-based organizations, the churches, the mosques, everything has been compromised. But there are brighter days ahead. There are surely brighter days ahead. God created confusion before he brought order.
The MPP government represents the confusion God brought to Ghanaians. And I'm sure that Mahama is coming. He's coming to restore order. He's coming to restore sanity in the country. And once again, you work in the country as proud citizens of Ghana. Once again, when you go out and you face citizens of other countries, you will be proud to proclaim that, yes, I am from Ghana, the black star of Africa. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to keep you waiting. You have already waited long enough to receive me. And I thank you very much for your steadfastness. I have two other functions to perform. One is to inaugurate your campaign teams and then to launch your campaign and then to introduce your candidate. I would want to save time by asking everybody who is a member of the campaign team, wherever you are, you raise your hand. And then you say after me, when I say I, you say I after me, and then you refer to, and uh, you enter being a member of the South Town campaign team. Let's start. Ezu. Ezu. I. Being a member of the South Town campaign team. Pledge to discharge my responsibilities without fear or favor during rain or shine, and I will remain committed to the cause of National Democratic Congress. and do all within my power to ensure the victory of President John Draman in Mahama. And Honorable Maxwell Lukuto. So help me God. Thank you very much. Congratulations.